Welcome, welcome friends. Welcome beautiful people. Hi Renee. Aw, oh, so good to feel you. I miss my singers. I miss my choir and my singers and my community and being with friends in person. I miss all that stuff. Anyone else <laughs> missing that stuff? Oh man. Hmm. I'm gonna do a little little smoke clearing as I think about all of the things that I miss in these strange and transformative times. Aw, hi Christine love. Nice to feel you. Thank you for being here. Hmm, blessed, full, it's not the full, it's the new. That's right, blessed new moon. Blessed new moon, yes. Ah, oh, I'm happy to be here too, thank you. It's, I, it's one of my intentions as of now to, to keep this new moon ritual and sound bath going as at least a somewhat regular occurrence because I really love it. It 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 uh, it's a beautiful practice for me. Really keeps me connected. I mean, I'm always connected to the moon, but it keeps me keeps me in my sound bath practice, <laughs> which means so much and is really important. Mm. Let me scroll through, see who's here. So many beautiful people. Welcome, welcome, Andrew. Hi, Ali and Anahita. Hi, Brina, darling, and Caitlin. Yeah, hi, Caitlin. And Caitlin, two Caitlins with us. Hi, Chakra, love. Oh, Sai, my love. So good to feel you here. Danielle, Elena, welcome. Gabriella, hi. Oh, thank you for humoring me, friends, as I scroll through. Wow, there's so many beautiful people here. Oh, Keitra, yay. I love seeing Kate. Hi, Karen. Oh, Isabel, welcome. Hi, Sister Helena. Hi, Hannah, love. So happy that you're all here, all here with me to celebrate this new moon. First new moon of the new year. And while we wait, we'll just wait a couple more minutes for any last folks to hop on. While we're waiting, uh, I will invite you to grab, if you haven't already, <laughs> there is a list of accoutrements that you may want for tonight. Definitely a journal and or a pen, a pen and paper, so you can take a few notes if you like some uh, water or tea, <laughs> always important. I'm always a big fan of keeping yourself hydrated. And if you'd like a candle or and or some sage or palo santo or sweet grass or whatever plant ally you like to use and burn, um, some incense, anything that you'd like, some essential oil, I love plant allies around to help us clear our space and refresh our energy. So I invite you to gather those things as well as there's an invitation to use headphones for tonight. We'll go into the sound bath portion and that's it really nice to have good headphones if you have them. If not, no worries. And lastly, you will need some comforts for the sound bath portion of the evening. So totally up to you whether you um, want, you know, bolsters, blankets, if you want props. Some of you probably know all about that. I know there's a lot of yogic practitioners on this, in this group with us tonight. Hi, Britt, love. Um, and a blanket, a pillow will also do. So make sure that you're comfortable, make sure that you have space to lie down. We'll do a bit of embodiment, a bit of stretching and a bit of breathing to start us off. And 
as we wait maybe one more moment, I would love to hear in the chat where you are, where you are coming from, where you're meeting us from in this co cosmic cyberspace. And one word to describe your day for us, one word for the essence of your day, and then one word for how you're feeling in this moment and in that order so that I know <laughs> how you're feeling in this moment. Taking the temperature of the group tonight. I wanna see what everyone needs. Mm. Yeah, Santa Barbara, me too. Energized and mellowing, <laughs> nice mellowing. That's a good word, I like that. Welcome, Robin, from Baltimore. Thanks for joining us. Hmm, flow day, a little tired. Yeah. Welcome, Caitlin. Take care, take good care of yourself. You're in the right spot. Hi, Sai from Los Angeles. The day has been interesting. Okay. Reading between the lines there, and you're feeling ready. Beautiful. I bet you are. Santa Cruz Mountains, yay. Hi, Erin. Lazy day, feeling mellow, blessed be. Hi, Jeff, welcome, feeling relaxed, beautiful. Overwhelmed, feeling open, yeah. Thank you, Hannah, you are not the only one. Thanks for calling out the overwhelm, it's there. Delightful day, feeling relaxed and receptive. Yeah, I love that. Love that, Renee. Grounded and inward. Thanks, Danielle. Nourished and hopeful. Love that, Robin. Yeah, okay. So lots of slow flow, needing to rest, needing to drop in. Mm, yeah. Great, grateful, shifted, beautiful, steady, coming in. Yeah, coming into land. Take your time. We're, we're going to be here for about 90 minutes together, so we've got some time. Wow, yeah, Christine, snowboarded this morning in a blizzard. <laughs> wow, beautiful. What a, what a beautiful ride, literally. Inward and snuggly. Oh, I like that. Yeah, beautiful. Welcome, Caitlin. Nice to have you. Thanks for coming from Philly, Andrew. Kind of getting late for you. Thanks for being here with us. Focused, open, maybe exposed. Okay. Just maybe. It's, you don't have to commit. Hi, Elena. Good to see you, love. Oh, so many people whom I love are here. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing with us. Mm. Oh, thanks for calling that out, Brit. Heartbreak for Yemen today. Yeah. Baseline needing inspiration. Yes. <sighs> Let's all take a big, deep breath together. Ah. Let's do that again. In through the nose and a big sigh out with a sound. Ah. Ha, ha, ha. Maybe give yourself, if you feel the need to kind of shake off your day, do that. Give yourself a little shake. Shake out your arms. Shake your hips, shake your body, and if you need to be still and you don't want to shake, then you don't have to shake. But if you feel like you need to move some energy through, yeah, beautiful. Mm. Thank you all so much for being here tonight. Thank you for saying yes to yourself on this full moon. I keep saying full moon. It's the new year. It's the new moon. <laughs> uh, I think it's just I feel full on the new moon, um, which is interesting. And maybe that has something to do with the new year. I feel like there's 
so much moving right now. So even though it's a new moon, and we'll talk about what that means if you don't have a new moon practice already, or if you're not attuned to that, no worries, you're in the right place. All are welcome here. And um, yeah, it's an interesting, interesting time in the world. <laughs> interesting in quotation marks. So I welcome you here, my friends, my relatives, my family, my beloveds, and I welcome you and invite you to take good care of yourself tonight. So right off the bat, I'll say if anything that we're doing doesn't feel good in your body, if you get a no to anything that we're doing, feel free to simply slow down, stop, take some deep breaths, find stillness, and take good care of yourself, right? This is uh, radical self-care. And of course, I'm also feeling into you and looking out for your energy. So if at any time you need anything, if the sound is off, you can't hear me, if anything's going on tech-wise, feel free to drop it in the chat. And also just feedback. If you have questions as we go, please drop them in the chat as well. So I want to say welcome to everyone and a lot of you know me from different touch points and some of you I believe I have not met. So what what a delight and what a joy. And there are many, many different places where I think we're all congregating from tonight, which is so beautiful. Uh, some of you know me from my choir, my Encourage Chorus that I lead or led pre-COVID with my beloved Ben. Some of you know me from my health coaching work and my mindful eating work and my yogic work and maybe my maybe you've read my book, Eat Here Now. Some of you know me from uh, ritual and ceremonial spaces. Some of you maybe have attended a workshop and maybe some of you got this forwarded to you from a friend who said, hey, you might like this and you don't know me at all. So thank you for being here. Thank you for bringing your energy. And even though I can't see your face, I can feel you and you are welcome. You are welcome here. And all that to say with my work, <laughs> and maybe I'd love to hear from all of you, you know, is it just me or is a lot shifting right now? in the world and, and in the outer and the inner world. Um, what I can share with you all right now is that my, it feels like my whole world is, is sort of turning, turning on its head. And of course the world is turning right now. And my work is one of the things that feels like it's really shifting right now, which feels really exciting and also really terrifying, right? And I often think that excitement and fear are two sides of the same coin. <laughs> um, so more to come in this new year of 2021 about the direction of my work. But if you're just meeting me for the first time, or even if you've known me for a while, I'd love to simply put it out there because it's part of the manifestation process to put words out into the world. And so I'll share with you all that I'm really shifting my work from a focus in holistic health into something else, something different. And of course, health is always part of it, right? Holistic is still there. And my work has always been spiritual at its essence. And what I'm becoming really interested and invested in is a bigger picture that focuses on our voice and our vision, how we show up in the world, how we stand up for the things that we believe in, how we take our, our most heartfelt core values and transmute them into awakened action in our lives, how we, how we find and walk in our truth and how we express that <laughs> once we've discovered the essence of what that truth is, how we express that. So a lot 
that that's a snippet of what I feel like I'm moving into with my work this year and moving forward. And I'm, I'm really excited about it. And these new moon, um, rituals and sound baths feel like a really yummy place to pull together a lot of the tools that are in my tool belt. So we're going to have some fun tonight. We're going to go in, we're going to go out, and um, we're going to certainly drop in. And one of my core values is harmony. And so it is one of one of my intentions for tonight is to offer you a bit of a tune up on this new moon. So let's talk a bit about the new moon before we dive into the the embodiment and then the ritual. New moon is such a great time and the word that I'm really exploring right now is freshness. <laughs> and freshness feels not only like applicable like it's applicable to every new moon, but this new moon in particular because it's the first new moon officially of the winter season. It's also the first new moon of the new calendar year, Gregorian calendar year, 2021. And so what I want to say about freshness and this idea of a shift is that a very subtle shift on the compass moves the ship by miles, right? By many, many miles. And sometimes it can feel like, uh, what is this new moon ritual? You know, how is this going to help me in my life, really? How, how am I going to integrate this? And if, if any of that is moving through you at all, I want to simply plant the seed that subtle shifts make a big difference over time. And this is such a beautiful, potent time, beginning of winter. Uh, and the new moon really is always the archetypal winter. So even if we're not in the winter, in one moon cycle, the new moon is the beginning, right? It's when it's, we have complete darkness. And so it's, it's the clean slate. It's the fresh start. And so what that means is that on a monthly basis, we get this chance to really harness the, the wisdom and the energy and the power of Mother Nature to reassess and reflect and, and look at the things that we have been prioritizing, our goals, you could call them, our intentions, and then make changes. So it's a really good time to let go of things and say yes to other things. In other words, it's a great time to reassess your sacred yes and your sacred no. <laughs> and this has been coming up for me a lot and always a good time to do this at the beginning of the year and when the seasons shift is are there, are there adjustments where I need to say yes and where I need to say no? Are there things that you've been saying yes to that, that you're feeling kind of dragging yourself along by the hair um, through the mud? And then are there things you've been saying no to that your heart is just oh, longing for? So that is th this time of the new moon is a really great time to make those shifts. This new moon in particular is a new moon in Capricorn. And something that I read today about Capricorn is that it speaks to the skeletal structure of the body and the joints and the bones. And I loved that. And I, I thought about, I always think about the chakra system. And so this, the skeleton of anything is the foundation. It's, it is the beginning. It is where we begin. It, you, you build on top of it. And so just like if we're building a house, you want a sturdy foundation. You don't want to build a beautiful temple on top of a crumbling foundation. So this is such a beautiful, potent, 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 like three times over new moon because of this invitation from the new year from the winter and from Capricorn to really look at like what are the bones of what 
you are building your life upon, right? What is the skeleton of your life look and feel like right now? And are there edits? Are there adjustments? Is there strengthening that needs to be done, right? Do you need some supplements? Do you need some more lubrication in your joints so that you can move a little easier with less pain, right? With more ease and freedom. So this isn't about control, and I'm feeling that even more and more and more. It's one of my great intentions for this year is to move from this place of ambition and actually even manifesting, um, while of course is still a beautiful process that I engage in every single day. I'm really interested in setting the course and then letting life take us where it wants us to go, letting life take us into the current where we are needed most. That's what I'm really interested in. So tonight we are going to center, we're going to clear, and we are going to create some beauty. And in doing that, we're going to magnetize spirit to us. We're going to enlist cosmic support for strengthening this skeleton, strengthening this foundation of your heart's longings and your body's needs and your, your spirit's direction, really your spirit's dharma, where it is that you're going. So <laughs> we are, um, we're going to talk about archetypes tonight. Before I dive in there, I'd love to do just a bit of uh, movement and a bit of breath to get us in our bodies. Then we're going to explore a bit on some archetypes and then we're going to move into the ritual and then into the sound bath. So if you aren't already sitting up, if it feels okay to sit up, I invite you to sit up. If you are exhausted and you need to lay down for this whole evening, you are more than welcome. And I invite you to simply stretch and feel and listen your listen to your body and heed the call. <laughs> For those of you who are sitting up, let's take a nice tall seat and simply take a moment to place your hands face down on your thighs and bring your spine nice and tall and feel the length in the back of your neck take a few gentle breaths and take a few more gentle breaths Feeling your breath going all the way down into your belly on the inhale. And releasing it out the mouth on the exhale. Yeah, one more like that. All the way down into the belly on the inhale. Out the mouth on the exhale. And then still keeping the hands on the thighs, we're gonna do some gentle seated cat-cow. So we'll inhale, and as you inhale, you're gonna bring your chest forward, bring the shoulders back and down. You can slightly lift your chin if that feels okay on your neck. If not, you can keep your chin parallel. And then exhale, rounding the back. And if it feels okay to drop your chin to your heart, Big exhale, and then inhaling again forward. And exhaling back. And up to you if it feels good to breathe in and out through the mouth, or in and out through the nose, totally up to you. This is your practice. And you can also take the speed that feels good. So moving forward, opening the front body on your inhalation, and then opening the back body on your exhalation. And taking a few more rounds on your own breath. 
<sighs> and maybe one more. And then from your exhalation in this rounded back, I'll invite you to take some rolls in your spine, making big circles on tops on top of your hips. So whatever direction feels good to start. And you can even keep a little bit of that cat cow action going while you take some big juicy circles, moving as slowly as it feels good. And then matching your breath with the action. Maybe simply noticing where the inhalation and exhalation fall if you don't think about it. <sighs> letting your body dictate, letting it tell you what it needs. And then we'll switch directions going the other way. Taking deep breaths, continuing these juicy circles. And I always like to start with the spine when we're talking about skeleton, when we're talking about breath, when we're talking about embodiment, because inner spine is the home of the nervous system. It is, of course, how we our erect humans, how we hold ourselves up in the world. It is our grounding cord. It is the, the home of and the home and the origin of many nerve endings. So feeling your spine, feeling your spine as you take a couple more circles. Noticing how your body feels at the end of this day. And then coming to center, let's take a few shoulder rolls up, back, and down. And a few shoulder rolls forward if that feels okay. And then we're going to lift the shoulders up toward the ears on the inhale. Hold them there. Hold the breath. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then big exhale as you let them drop. <sighs> Do that two more times. Inhale and hold. Exhale and drop. <sighs> and one more time. Inhale and hold. Exhale and drop. <sighs> nice. And I'm going to give you a few, maybe one minute to take any stretching right now that your body is asking for. Any stretching, maybe taking a moment pause and listening and feeling into your body. Maybe a little twist. Maybe you're lying on your back and you want to pull a leg, a knee into your chest. Maybe you want to do a forward fold. <sighs> Letting your body tell you what it needs. <sighs> About another 30 seconds. Free stretching moment. Choose your own adventure. And keep your breath, keep your breath present in your awareness. Okay, and Let's move into a little breath practice before we move into our archetypes for the evening. We're going to do something called a four stroke breath for balance. I really love this, this pranayama practice. It's really simple and I do find it very balancing. So you're welcome to bring your hands either face up on your palm, uh, on, on your legs, on your 
uh, thighs. These are called thighs, these legs, uh, or palms down. So if you'd like a little bit more grounding energy, palms down. If you'd like a little bit more receptive, maybe awakening energy, palms facing up. And then we're going to, um, the breath is very simple. It's in and out through the nose and it is an even four strokes in and an even four strokes out. So it sounds like this. And we're going to do that together for a minute and a half or so. And I'll invite you to close your eyes. And we'll take a nice full breath to begin. So inhaling through the nose. Exhaling out the nose. And here we go, starting with four count in through the nose. Three more rounds. Big inhale through the nose. Hold it at the top for a few seconds. And gently exhale. Taking a moment to simply notice how you feel from the breath, the effects of the pranayama on your body, on your energy, on your mood. And as you're ready, dear ones, slowly fluttering open those beautiful eyelids, coming back into this space here now together. Hmm. Maybe taking a little sip of water, if that feels good. I want to share with you a bit about archetypes and what's been coming through for me is we are in the new year and so often in the new year we get bombarded by expectation to set goals and make resolutions and keep them and succeed <laughs> and uh, be high functioning. And what's so interesting is that that's actually not what winter is about at all. You know, if we, I, I spoke about this, if you join me for the, the, this new moon ritual in December, winter is about death. Winter is about rebirth. Winter is about the leaves falling off the trees and the animals like collecting acorns and stashing them away and then, you know, hibernating, um, staying warm, gaining weight. Like that's, that's what winter is actually about. If we look to mother nature, which is what I'm interested in. 
So sure, set goals. You know, I, I love setting goals and planning as much as the next person. And actually, I, I really do love it. And let's zoom out a bit and let's get out of our head, our thinking, planning, strategizing brain. And I want to invite us instead to step into a space of the mythic and step into a space of the imaginal. And think about not what goals do I want to achieve, but rather what version of myself am I leaving behind? What version am I, of myself am I now saying no to? What version, like a snake shedding its skin, what version of myself am I shedding? And then looking forward, what version am I stepping into? This is the realm of archetypes. And I, in preparation for today's call, I drew a couple of cards. Now, for Christmas, I requested the uh, Archetypes deck by The Wild Unknown, which is by the author Kim Kranz. And if you're not familiar with her work, she's fabulous. I have another one of her card decks as well. And so this morning in my, my morning ritual, my, my personal new moon ritual this morning, I asked, I put all the cards out and I, I put my hands on them and I asked for guidance on two archetypes that would support everyone who is coming tonight, who is here live, and everyone who is going to see this recording, anyone who might receive this ritual tonight, I asked for two archetypes that would support us moving forward into the person that we want, that we are longing to become more of ourself, right? It's not a new person. It's, it's more of ourself. It's letting go the things that aren't true to us anymore, or maybe they never were. So I drew two cards for us and I cackled with delight with the cards that I drew. <laughs> so you are going to love this. Here's what I drew for us, and here is what has shaped our ritual tonight. The first card I drew is the comic. Okay, check this out. The comic, right? I literally burst out laughing when I drew this. And the second card I drew is Apocalypse. <laughs> So the comic and apocalypse, these are the energies of the archetypes that came through that we will be working with. And I kid you not, I could not have, I mean, I could not have picked two more perfect cards and actually in companion with one another and with <laughs> this moment in time, I, this blows me away. I mean, this is, this is a miracle right here that these cards came through for us, for you. So these cards are here for you to guide you and me through this first new moon. And really, I'm thinking through 2021, um, I'm loving this. So I'm going to talk about these for a moment. First, let's talk about the comic. The comic could also be thought of as the fool in the tarot deck or the jester. And the comic stands for play, right? Levity, lightheartedness. And the comic is so necessary, so necessary. Sometimes we take ourselves real seriously, right? This actually really came through for me thinking about uh, my partner and I, um, some of you know my beloved Ben, uh, my husband, and we, you know, I, I will say we, we've kind of been going through it during this, this pandemic time. It's, it's been hard. Like, let me just normalize for all of you out there who are in couple dumb or single dumb, um, who are having a hard time in your relations. I, we've been having a hard time. So something that really came through for me at the end of the year was, okay, 
we need more play. We need more play. We need more lightheartedness. For Christmas, I got Ben like some Frisbees and a bunch of board games. So this I really love, this idea of, of play and lightheartedness. What is also really interesting about the comic is, is looking at the shadow because all archetypes have the light and the shadow, right? So we all know how fabulous it feels to be around somebody who makes us laugh, to have a really good belly laugh. I mean, there's not much medicine that is better than a really good belly laugh, right? And the shadow of the fool is, can be dark, real dark, right? Really sarcastic, very, um, yeah, just taking, taking it to a place of, uh, this isn't funny, <laughs> right? So, so this is a really interesting card for us to work with this year. Then we have Apocalypse. And the Apocalypse card, I really actually would love to read, read a little excerpt from this card because from this, from the book that that's with this deck, because it's so beautiful. So Apocalypse indicates a particularly painful time, one that unfolds when two disparate dynamics occur simultaneously, pulling the psyche in seemingly opposite directions. The first is a lifting of the veil. This means truths that have been kept in the dark are revealed, seen, and unearthed. No matter how relieving it is to witness them come into light, an element of despair and grief follow. The second dynamic is the regeneration that comes from the wreckage of the revealed truth. The old narrative breaks and a new story forms. Apocalypse energy is similar to that of a forest fire. Devastation for the sake of regeneration. Wow, if that doesn't describe the state of the world right now. The veiled lifts and we see who and what has been hiding. From the nakedness of the truth a child is born. Have faith in the process. Hold on to your center. That is the only way. So... I found that to be profound and prophetic and perfect. <laughs> Three Ps. So we have the comic and we have apocalypse and we have these energies working together. And we are going to play with these a bit in our ritual for tonight. So know that uh, after this is over, I am going to do a follow-up with you all and I will send you a picture of these cards so that you can check them out a little bit closer. And, um, and we're going to do some playing with them. So here's what we're going to ease into next. I am going to put some prompts in the chat. And you don't have to look at the prompts now. Um, what I'm going to ask you to do is we're actually going to do a little bit, a little drumming ritual. And this is actually inspired by a mentor of mine, uh, Nisha, Nisha Moodley, who I love and adore. And she had a recommendation this new moon for a drum, a drumming ritual. And I really loved that. And I figured, hey, we're doing a sound bath. That's drum works great with that. So here's what I'm going to invite you to do. I'm going to give us a drum, a heartbeat, and I want to invite you to do one of two things. You can either simply receive and let the sound of the drum take you inward. If you would like to add a component with me, you can add some body percussion. So you can drum along with me on your body. So you can do this on your heart or on your thighs, wherever feels good to you. 
And if you feel, if you consider yourself to be a bit uh, rhythmically challenged and you have a hard time, if it feels like too much to try and do that and also think about the prompts that I'm going to be giving you, don't worry about it. Or it can be very simple, right? You can, you can have a really, really simple beat. You can also find a little movement in your body if that feels good. So getting yourself set up for that either way, if you, another note, so after the prompts, I'm going to actually give you a moment to pick up your journal and do a little bit of writing. I'm going to keep drumming. And that's another point where you can choose your own adventure. So at that moment, if you don't want a journal, if you want to just lay down and go straight into the sound bath, you can. And if you want a journal, feel free to write on what came through in your prompts. And then when you're ready to ease into the sound bath at your, at your leisure and at your pleasure, please do. So, so getting yourself set up either way, either having a seat or if you want to lay down either way is absolutely fine. Don't worry about the prompts in the chat now. I'm just putting them in there so that they are there for you after the drumming. Okay, so here we go. <sighs> Closing your eyes, taking a few breaths, welcoming in the heartbeat of the drum. Finding the rhythm. Perhaps there's a bit of movement in your body. Perhaps there's some body percussion over your heart, on your legs, on your belly, wherever feels good. Or maybe you are simply there in stillness receiving this heartbeat. Let's take a few deep breaths together, inviting this rhythm inside of us. And inviting yourself inside of the rhythm. rhythm moving through you, allowing yourself to enter into the heartbeat. relationships, scenarios, circumstances where you find yourself getting really serious. To the point that it is a point of suffering. Where are you 
longing for more play and more levity. Where in your life would you benefit from more lightheartedness? Again, bringing, not even thinking too hard, allowing any circumstances in particular, any relationships, any people in particular. Where is your spirit and your heart longing for more levity, more lightness, more play? this archetype of the comic, the fool, what wisdom do you have for me? What can I learn on this new moon in the new year from the comic? wisdom do you have for me? Comic? Fool? What do I need to learn from you? Listening, listening for the answers. You don't have to find them, just let them come. Taking a breath to let whatever you're receiving from the comic seep into your cells and then turning toward the second archetype apocalypse and contemplating what truths are being revealed inside of me. What truths are being revealed inside of me? Inside the ecosystem of this body this soul living in this human body. What's being revealed outside of me in the world? What truths am I now facing inside of this energy, inside of this archetypal apocalyptic energy? What truths are being revealed about myself and about the world?
returning again directly toward this energy of the apocalypse, the archetype of the apocalyptic energy, and asking it, what wisdom do you have for me? to learn from you so that this time is time well spent what lessons do you have for me to come forth, receiving it, coming back to your breath. gratitude to these two archetypes, the comic and apocalypse. And if you so desire, my friends, now you are welcome to Either slowly open your eyes, grab your journal, and jot down anything that was worth noting, anything you want to remember, hold on to from these prompts. In essence, the prompts are, what wisdom do these archetypes have for you? What are the lessons coming through? And you're welcome to spend the next few minutes writing. And if you can't be bothered to write and you want to stay with this space of trance and contemplation, please do. And I'm going to begin the sound bath and I'll put it in your good, capable hands to transition yourself into a comfortable position where you can receive for the next 30 minutes or so. return to your breath.
your belly, breathing into your heart. Take and 
Maybe not from the sources you've been pouring yours. Maybe not from the direction you've been staring. Twist your head around It's all around you All is full of love All, all around you Doors are all shut, doors are all shut, all is full of love, all is full of love, all is full of love. Taken care of, you'll be given love. You have to trust it. All is full of love.
to your breath again and again and again.
taking a deep breath, inviting a slow, deep breath all the way down into your belly. Slowly letting it out through your lips and taking a few more deep breaths. In through the nose, all the way down into your belly. And gently letting them escape out through your lips. Taking these few first tender breaths as we slowly emerge from this liminal space. Noticing how you feel, noticing the subtle things. Noticing sensations, emotions, feelings, thoughts. Feeling it all, letting it come, whatever's there. And my dear friends, in your own good time, nice and easy, coming up, if you're able to come back up to a seat, nice and slow, being tender with yourself, taking good care of your body. And if you need to lay there and not move yet, then Please honor that. I want to give thanks to the beautiful song carriers that inspire and inform my life. Mm. Uh, songs tonight that I shared by a woman named Pura Fay. Makchi, beautiful Native American indigenous woman from the um, Sioux lineage, Sioux tribes. And Ashes and Smoke, beautiful song by Linda Allen. And Beautiful Heart song by my brother Ishmael, who wrote it on his charango, which is the stringed instrument I was playing. Mm. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. And I would love to hear how you're doing in the chat. What's your, what came through? If you're willing to stay a few more minutes and share, I would love to hear your biggest aha. What did you learn? What did you get? What did you receive? And how do you feel post-ritual and post-sound bath? Anything that you want to share in the chat, I will happily, happily receive. And would love to make sure you all are doing well. I want to feel you and Put my finger on the pulse of your well-being right now. Make sure that everyone is doing all right out there. Hmm. Yeah, beautiful. New areas to bring play in. Me too. Me too. Hmm. Ah, oh, yes. Connected to life. Good. You are life. We are life. Isn't it a miracle? Truly. Ah, beautiful. Yes, thank you. Yes, beautiful. Hmm. 
What a gift to be here together. What a gift. Yeah, good, nourished. Yes, beautiful. Mm. And bless every tear. Bless every tear. <sighs> bless, bless every breath and every tear. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, it's so good to hear. Thank you. I'm. Thank you for your tears, everyone who allowed tears to come through. Thank you. What a gift. What a gift. Hmm. Stop trying so hard to self-improve and enjoy. Have fun. Yeah. There is self-improvement in joy and laughter and fun and play. Our little, our inner kids, they really want that. Like, they're like, hey, hey, God, that's, really? Does it have to be like this all the time? <laughs> Hmm. Um, yeah, what I said about the subtle shift was, um, I like to think about a compass and, um, it's not a quote, it's just something that I think about and a small, subtle shift in the compass needle moves the ship by miles. A subtle shift in the compass needle moves the ship by miles. Such a good reminder when we're in these daily practices and we feel like, what is this going to do? How is this going to help myself or the world? And that's how. It's nothing less than extraordinary. Mm. Oh, so grateful you feel tuned up. Lovely. Oh, what a blessing. Oh, dear ones. Thank you. Thank you for being here with me. I look forward to offering more of these this year in 2021. And I'm excited about more offerings coming out. I, I have some really fun things that I'm cooking up for 2021. Different ways to work with me, new ways to work with me and play with me. Play. It's definitely a, it's a part of the new direction. I like it. I, I'm I like it. I'm going to partner with this, this play energy. I also want to share that uh, I offer something called a Discover Your Truth session. And it's a free session. And it's a time to explore with me where you feel a bit blocked, a bit stuck, a bit stale, a bit held apart from what you think is actually more you right? Where you want to be more of yourself, where you want to feel more authentic. And how, how do we get there? How do we do that? That's really a part of this, this new work that I'm, that I'm taking on, that I'm stepping into. And so I want to invite you, if you feel called, if that sounds juicy to you, I would love to invite you to the session. It's free. I love these sessions. They really deeply inform my work and I've had a few super potent ses sessions lately with, um, with dear ones in my life and my community who've received really deeply. So there's no strings attached to work with me afterward. If you'd like, uh, I'll send the email, uh, I'll send the link in an email as a follow-up, but there's also the link there in the chat bit.ly slash liberate, liberate your truth, liberate your truth. And um, I hope to explore, and I hope that you keep exploring these archetypes. Take the comic, the comic, take him or her or it with you. Apocalypse, take it with you. Let them play. Let them inform you. As I've been thinking, this is one of my new mottos for the year. Embrace your ordinary and awaken your extraordinary. <laughs> Embrace your ordinary and awaken your extraordinary. And uh, if I can help you do that, reach out. Reach out, send me an email. I'd love to hear any follow-ups from tonight. And I would love to continue to engage with you, beloved community, beloved family, beloved relations. 
Thank you so much for being here. It is truly an honor and a blessing to get to hold this space with you. Uh, Caitlin, the cards are by Kim Kranz. Her company is called The Wild Unknown. She also makes a tarot deck and she has a journal out and she has another deck that I have called the Animal Spirit Deck. If you don't, if you haven't checked out her work, definitely check out her work. She has an Instagram, she has a website. She's an incredible artist. And for Santa Barbara um, folks, I just found out from this archetype deck that she's actually a graduate of Pacifica Graduate Institute which is where she totally geeked out on archetypes. So that also really touches my heart because Pacifica, if you're not aware of Pacifica, it's a really incredible institution here in Santa Barbara um, that is deeply steeped in uh, depth psychology and the work of Carl Jung and, um, and the work of, of archetypes and the hero's journey. It's, it's, it's an incredible place. And I love knowing that that was where all of this really came through. So I feel even more connected to this deck because Pacific is just in our backyard. All right, my loves, I'm going to kiss you goodnight and embrace you. Consider yourself hugged. And I hope you drink some water, drink some tea, maybe have a little nosh. And then I hope you sleep sweetly and deeply tonight. So much love. Keep shining, keep shining, keep shining. Keep embracing your ordinary, keep awakening your extraordinary, and I will see you very soon.